What's up everyone, Mandy here from On The Grow and today we are doing our August Grow Space Update. Now two weeks ago, we actually celebrated our one year on YouTube. We were gonna make a video on it, but to be honest, we kind of needed a little break from YouTube. And instead of doing YouTube videos, we actually continue to work on our business, but behind the scenes. Through doing that, we were able to get that website finished. Now that website, we have been talking about that for a few videos now about how we are going to update it. And we finally did just that. Some cool things that we actually added to our website is we now have some awesome blogs and we're gonna continue to update the blogs as we can. And we have that downloadable grow guide that we have been talking about where you can see what our seed densities are, how long we grow crops and some other cool information. On top of that, we also have a secret thing on our website where if you do a little bit of scrolling on our main page, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. And I think a lot of you are gonna get very excited. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and tag CJ into this video real quick. Okay, guys, you may be noticing that the wall behind me is actually different than the wall that you're probably used to seeing, and that is because we have moved from our grow space outdoors into our guest bedroom in our home. Now, the reason that we have done this is actually for three reasons. Number one, we love to learn things. Number two, we like new experiments. Number three, we love to teach people how to grow, and we are going to better learn how to do that inside of our home. Now you may be thinking like, why would you stop growing in a perfect grow space for growing microgreens and move it into your house to try to learn that? And the reason is, is that we just really want to better relate with a lot of home growers. Whenever we first started growing microgreens, we actually started out in our garage for about a month and a half, and then we jumped straight into a custom designed grow space. So we kind of skipped in home growing. So growing inside your home is actually where most people begin growing and this is something we get a lot of questions on and we have a lot of experience with garage and custom grow space but not a ton in-house so we are going to do our best to learn how to grow in home. Now it does come with its own pros and cons so let's go ahead and talk about a few of those. On the cons, number one, I would say the biggest issue with growing inside of our house has been access to water. In our custom grow space, we had a triple sink station with a hose set up, a water reservoir, a water pump. Everything was there ready for both getting rid of water, wastewater, and producing new clean water. So in our grow space, we had everything accessible. We could bring our hose over to our racks and use the water wherever we needed it. Now within our home, we're in a guest bedroom and most guest bedrooms don't have sinks or toilets or drainage or anything like that built into them. So we have to get the water from external source and we also have to take any wastewater to an external source as well. So there's a little bit more foot traffic back and forth trying to bring water and take water and you have to be a lot more cautious being in a bedroom too that you don't spill the water as much. In our grow space we had rubber coin floors and everything was made to get accidentally splashed or something and that was perfectly okay. But in the guest bedroom you have to be a little bit more cautious because we have paint on the walls, we've got flooring that could warp if too much water gets on and stuff like that. So we've obviously had to adapt a little bit. The second big con with growing inside of our house is that we are limited to our thermostat. So in our grow space, the thermostat was actually inside the grow space and every time it would get too hot, the thermostat would register that and kick on the AC. Whereas in the guest bedroom, our thermostat's actually in our hallway. So the temperatures are gonna read different from what's actually happening in the grow space to what's actually happening in the hallway. So what we've noticed so far is that the guest bedroom gets a little bit hotter than we would like but overall it's not too bad and we're actually getting over this challenge pretty easily. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros of growing inside of our house. The number one thing that is incredibly amazing is the accessibility to our microgreens. So before we always had to leave our house. So we had our microgreens in our garage or we had them out in our grow space. So we always physically had to leave our home, though it wasn't too far. I mean, a lot of people have like warehouses and things like that. You know, I might be a little bit dramatic that we had to walk out to our garage or walk you know, a little bit through our yard to go to our grow space, but we did nonetheless have to leave our home to go check on our crops. Now, all we really have to do is just walk into this bedroom and check on our crops. So it's a lot easier to water the crops. It's a lot easier to check on the health of them, to harvest them. Uh, you know, our fridge is inside our house. So as for the harvesting process, it's quite a bit easier. We harvest and we take it straight to the fridge. We can wash it in our sink, whatever we need to do. Everything is extremely accessible within our home. Another major plus is that we are going to be able to better relate to a lot of the home growers because this is how most people get started. There's been a lot of questions, like I said earlier, about how to grow in the home, uh, controlling the environment, things like that, and how to do it. And we didn't have the best answers, so now we are actually going to learn that. 
And the third thing that I gotta say is pretty awesome is that we have both of our boys, our cats, inside of our house, and we get to be closer to them. They love to play underneath the door and get a little crazy while we're trying to film or be in here because they wanna be a part of this. So it is nice being closer to the things that we love and just having that little bit of entertainment instead of having to be somewhere else. So that is about it for why we've moved from our grow space into our home to practice growing. And I cannot wait to share our experiences with you guys and figuring out what works, what doesn't work, and any tips and tricks we learned along the way. What you guys should be expecting from us soon from YouTube videos is things along the lines of full walkthroughs. Uh, we're going to be doing more nutrient tests, more lighting tests. I finally got some Barina T8 shop lights that I'm gonna be putting against the Barina T5 shop lights and a whole bunch more stuff like that. So I hope that you guys are excited for some new videos. Well, that is all for now. We just wanted to give this quick update on why we have moved from a growth space into our home and what we are doing right now. So I appreciate y'all's patience as we figured out our creative flow and took a little bit of break from YouTube, but now we are ready to start rocking and rolling and getting back into filming these videos for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and we will try to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at OnTheGrow Farms and our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much, have a great day and keep on believing.